Hey guys, what's up? PainPlaysMC here today, and I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, um, kind of what I've learned from, uh, my MacBook Pro GPU fix, uh, from the comments on YouTube, from the messages, from the emails, from everything, I'm just going to show you guys what I've learned, um, and try and just put it all out there on one simple website, um, one simple web page, one simple video, so that you guys can see everything, so I'm not going to go into the detail on everything, on how to fix it, um, and all the steps here I'm just gonna highlight some of the key things and then I'm gonna share this link up here and you guys can go view this and um, it has everything that you guys should need if you have any questions you can comment on this video down below um, so let's just jump into this so to start out with um, it has OS X 10.10 .10 and older which would be Yosemite and older so if you're on Yosemite or older you're gonna use this section right here if you're on 10, 11, and 10, 13, so L caps into high Sierra, high Sierra, you're going to use this section in here, and then right below it, you're going to see general, general notes, and they have little stars next to them. These are just general things that um, apply to the, all the OSs um, for the most part, and they're not in the actual like fix section. So very simply put, if you're on Yosemite or older, you're going to use um, Arc Linux. And you're going to start out, you're going to move the kecks, and then you're going to do Arc Linux. I have a couple notes here that if you can't remove the GPU power preferences file, how to do so. There's two different things, so if this method right here doesn't work, you can try this method right here. And if that still doesn't work, um, then you have some issues, and comment that down below if both of these methods right here to remove the GPU power preferences don't work. Uh, definitely comment that down below. In general, um, this should really be in general, but the unmount command, if that gives you an issue, just skip it and type reboot. It's not going to mess up anything. Um, just skip it, type reboot, and move on with your life. All will be well. For all caps in the high Sierra, you're going to use a different method. You still need to remove the AMD text first. I made a note of that down below um, in the uh, general notes that you need to move the AMD text in order to ensure that it's fully fixed. So, I see here you're just going to follow this method right down here, um, and then uh, some notes for this one, High Sierra has sleep wake issues, so I'd avoid using High Sierra unless you absolutely have to, um, that's just my personal opinion, I've read a lot of comments, it is, uh, the sleep wake issues are the biggest thing, I think a couple other are that sometimes it doesn't work, not entirely sure. Another thing is brightness issue. It's not an issue on Yosemite and older, but I know that Mavericks, or not Mavericks, um, on, what is it? Where, where? On El Captain and higher, it has some issues. So you're just gonna need to reinstall the OS, and then you're gonna want to move only these kecks here. I've given you a command to do that. And then the general notes, um, just a couple things. Kex have to be done. Minor updates are okay, but major ones you gotta redo it. Stay away from PRAM and NVRAM resets. Can't use an external monitor at all, so you can't use a guy, sorry. Your screen is distorted, and you can't read anything. Use a different Mac, and if it's running super hot, you can either get a fan controller or try doing this command here. Um, and then right here I got my video links for the walkthrough. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.